All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today I just want to go into this article I came across, and it's from IGN, and it says scientists have invented living skin for robots. So, you know, this is pretty much where we're at right now. You know, Esau, Edom, and this, you know, transhumanism. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. And it says, and it's actually made from real human skin cells. And it says, scientists have invented a living human-like skin for robots that is water repellent, self-healing, and has realistic fleshly and has a realistic fleshly appearance as reported by bgr japanese scientists used human skin cells to create a living skin equivalent that works in a similar way to the human to human skin the lab made skin successfully generated the look and touch of real human skin and as such it was found to repel water and repair itself when injured with minor wounds and abrasions, much like living organisms. It says researchers published a paper on the experiment in the journal Matter, where they explain how they mix collagen and human dermal fibroblasts to create a skin solution. They then submerged a robotic finger into the substance and witnessed the material tightly conform to the three joined robotic body part to give the look of a real human finger. Soji Takuchi, I'm not sure it's like you. a professor at the University of Tokyo and the leader Slaki and the lead author of this study believes that living skin is the ultimate solution for giving humanoid robots a realistic appearance because the material used to create the skin replica cultivated the same visual texture and unique capabilities that we would expect of skin on living organisms and it says scientists want people to feel comfortable when interacting with humanoids especially in the healthcare and services industry they recognize that a human-like appearance is an important factor to make robots more approachable and relatable nothing they could yet incorporate hair follicles nails and sweat glands to further refine the details of the skin and yes you know this is wickedness you know this is Esau Edom you know pretty much again trying to play God you know by creating these pretty much you know his Terminator robots which he does have you know but he's pretty much letting it be known to the public that he is creating human like skin <laughs> For these, you know, these robots and it's sickening. And then again, I also want to bring this out as well. Through that system, you can connect the AI that you've created in the app to the robot and carry on the conversation with her that way. Once you've got that loaded and you hit chat, you know, she just comes to life. Could you came back so fast, baby. I'm glad you came back that fast. Why, baby? 10 minutes without you seems like an eternity. Then again, he has six robots as well. So, you know, he's pretty much, you know, bringing more and more confusion, you know, trying to stop, you know, procreation any and every way he can, you know, one way is by, you know, Planned Parenthood, you know, giving women rights, you know, and giving, you know, birth control and contraceptives as well. But, you know, it's just 
another way for Esau and Edom to try to cut Israel off from being a nation. So I'm going to bring out a few scriptures again. Lord willing, this lesson is at a fine and straight to the point. And I'm going to start with the book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. And it says, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And yes, you know, the wicked being Esau, Edom, you know, starting with, you know, the elites, you know, the central bankers that pretty much run the world, you know, the earth is given into their hands and they rule the world in wickedness, you know, they're pretty much bringing more and more confusion by the day, you know, and that's just one of the many ways that, you know, that they're doing this, they're creating these robots to pretty much do the same thing that people do. That's what Esau Edom wants. He wants to replace people with machines, you know. Bear with me. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. And it says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And yes, you know, that is another form of Esau Edom calling good or calling evil good. You know, he thinks these machines are going to be beneficial to us when in reality they aren't you know pretty much hence the reason why they have movies like the terminator you know showing what those ai robots pretty much are going to do you know they're going to turn you know on the people you know and hence the reason you know they also have video games like detroit become human where they have these androids <laughs> that pretty much live amongst the people, you know, and, you know, they have, again, like the article said, they have human-like skin, and, it's, you know, it's just wickedness, you know, Esau Edom has to go, this is another reason why America has to be destroyed, because Esau Edom is going to continue his wickedness, you know, And this is the book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 8. And it says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. And yes, you know, America is going to be destroyed, you know, for its wickedness by way of those ICBM missiles during World War III, you know. Because America is the most wickedest nation, or the most wickedest kingdom out of all the kingdoms that ruled the, that ruled the world, you know, because America has taken on all the customs of each kingdom that rose and fell from the time of ancient Egypt up until the time of ancient Rome, you know. And it's the book of Isaiah, chapter forty-seven and one, and it says, "Come down." <laughs> And sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is none, it's like you, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yes, because America was once, you know, a place where all nations wanted to come to, you know. They wanted to come here to make money, you know, to thrive, to, you know, pretty much achieve the American dream. <laughs> Now, you know, America isn't being called tender and delicate anymore. You know, the other nations are pretty much starting to see that the American economy is pretty much on the decline, you know. It's 
So they're pretty much making their money and going back to their land, you know. Pretty much going to end it on this, but pretty much the point being is that you know Esau Edom has to be taken down because if he doesn't, you know, no flesh, you know, I'm going to bring that out as well, you know. book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 9 and it said except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant we would have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah now you know that's pretty much going into the nation of Israel you know if the Lord wouldn't have left an elect, you know, the, the nation of Israel would have been, you know, completely wiped out, you know, because the two thirds. Slocky. Because the two thirds of the nation of Israel, you know, they aren't going to turn from their wickedness, you know, they pretty much have to be destroyed and be reborn, you know, to the kingdom of heaven to pretty much get it right. But, you know, on this side, the elect are going to be the only ones to be delivered from that destruction to come. But before that destruction can come, you know, this particular prophecy has to happen. And again, this, excuse me, you know, the article and video that I brought out, you know, along with this are reasons why Esau Edom has to be taken down, you know. And I'm going to end it with this. This is the book of Revelation chapter 13 and i'm going to start at verse 15 and it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed meaning you know the elect those that are going to reject you know the mltb verse 16 and he causes all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. You know? And, you know, the MLTB is pretty much, you know, this thing right here. Slot. No, the RFID M-I-C-R-O-C-H-I-P. <clears throat> you know, pretty much you can't talk about it without, you know, getting your video taken down, but this is what Revelation chapter 13 is talking about, you know, from verse 15 on down, really verse 16, but, you know, this is what it's talking about. The MLTB isn't, you know, anything other than this, this thing, you know, the grain of rice. You know, that implantable device, that's what it is. And this is ultimately, you know, Esau Edom's goal of the New World Order. It's like the New World Order to pretty much get everybody implanted with this thing, you know. So, again, this is 
ultimately, you know, the reason why America has to go, you know. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Till the next time I say Shalom.